Hello everyone, Wolfpack here, and today we will be doing more surface combat and cold waters with Dot Mod. In this video, I will be taking out USS Iowa once again, and this time we will attempt to destroy a large Soviet task force. I hope you all enjoy this video, and let me know what you would like to see in the next one. Anyways, I hope you all enjoy. Here we are aboard USS Iowa, and we have a Soviet task force closing in on our position. If we look at the map, we can see all sorts of enemies coming our way. We also have an enemy aircraft closing in. We already have a launch transient from Master 4, a crush to 2. I think it's time to begin engaging with our 16-inch guns. They are swinging around, and we are going to continue to launch multiple TASMs towards the enemy task force. They are bow on, which means their close in weapon systems are going to have some issues. Okay, that's a good amount of TASMs heading their way. Radar's on, everything's looking good. We have this enemy, what is this? An enemy aircraft, a bear closing in on our position. Should be able to take care of that with Sea Whiz, honestly, if it gets a little too close. We have lots of shit heading our way though. Let's launch one more. Launch a few harpoons. Okay. Something just exploded out there. Looking pretty good so far. Missile is getting close. This one is closing in on our position. Sea Wiz should prosecute. And there we go, it's taken care of. Sea Wiz is going. Sea Wiz is also engaging the Tupolev. There we go, the bear has been shot down. Lots of incoming missiles. Let's increase, uh, let's maintain 15 knots, shall we? Sea Wiz is going, chaff, chaff, chaff. Okay, doing work, doing work. More chaff, please. That missile just flew overhead. Yikes. Keep deploying chaff. The more chaff, the merrier. Loads of launches coming from the Soviet forces out there. Okay, let's take a look. It looks like we're pretty clear. And I think they managed to get most of our missiles, unfortunately, as well. Oh, but we are we are hitting this Krushta 2 with 16-inch guns. And she is deploying chaff to defeat our missiles. And it looks like she was successful in that. We have loads of missiles coming our way. Looks like the guns are going to be primarily what we have to use here. We're not going to be able to defeat all of their Sea Whiz, it seems. They're engaging with guns as well. I'm surprised this Krushta 2 definitely does not look too good. Let's continue to prosecute her. And oh my gosh, that's a lot of missiles coming our way. Get ready to deploy more chaff. Oh boy, that's a lot. Sea Wiz should kick in soon. Here we go, Sea Wiz is engaging. Chaff. Okay, got one. Unfortunately for us, there's more where that came up. More chaff. Ooh, that was so a little too close for comfort. Chaff, chaff, chaff. Keep deploying chaff. Looks like that missile went right for the chaff. Let's keep just spraying chaff everywhere. Sea Wiz is going absolutely nuts. Looking good so far. We're defeating a lot of these missiles. Just spam absolutely spamming chaff. Okay, I think it's time to engage more chaff. Two, three. Four, five, six. Six away. Three more missiles inbound. This thing's pissed off. She's continuing to launch. Jeez, there's just so many of them. It's going to be insanely difficult for any of our subsonic missiles to get through. But we are continuing to defeat. Let's increase speed to 20 knots. There we go. Sea Wiz is doing extremely well. Okay. 
more chaff. This is quite the enemy task force we're up against as well. Damage control, let's take a look. Pulls at 92%. I think that's primarily uh, the Several Dolph's guns that are engaging us and uh, damaging us at this point. We have not been hit by a missile, to my knowledge. Although we have loads coming in. Our TASMs are closing in, though. They're getting kind of close. Don't think their Sea Wiz will be able to defeat theirs. Hopefully we don't run out of chaff here. Let's make a course change. More chaff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez. More chaff, more chaff, more chaff. There's too many. Too many for comfort. I wonder if those barrels are melting on that. Okay, uh, there we go. Crush has been hit. Two. This one's going on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Hit something. Figure it out. You can pick something up. Okay. Here we go. Another hit. Love it. A Udaloy taken out. There we go. Two ships destroyed. Another missile inbound. Just a single one. Let's see. Let's go for two. And I just launched a T-Lam. We are out of TASMs. Next is going to be harpoons by the looks of things. Where's this missile? Let's drop some chaff. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness we did. That thing almost hit us. Okay. And it looks like it is going off. It's been defeated. Beautiful. Okay. Let's watch our TASMs head towards the enemy task force. And you know what? Let's begin engaging Master 2 here. Fire at will, please. Looks like our rear turret cannot engage. Let's change course. 256 degrees, please. Well, looking at it, it seems most of our TASMs were defeated. Our 16-inch guns are still engaging. We have plenty of ammunition. Let's increase speed to flank and try to close here. And you know what? I think we are going to engage with harpoons now. Let's shoot one, two, three. Towards Master 7. Okay, three harpoons away. Let's see what those do. Hopefully they'll take out Master 7 and then we'll engage the rest here. We are engaging Master 2 with guns. Looks like she is still able to engage with her rear turrets. They're all running away though. After losing two ships, I think they've had enough. This Kreshta 1, it seems to be turning around though. So we'll see. I think they're also running extremely low on missiles. So um, we're doing pretty well for ourselves. They definitely, we're not messing around in the beginning with all those missiles. Okay, our harpoons are closing in. Looks like they're launching missiles to try to intercept. Let's see. Come here. Oh my gosh, that's a hit. Sea Wiz is not engaging. Got him. One, two hits. And it looks like three for good measure. Third hit right on the Kreshta. Another kill. All right. And with that, we will engage Master 3 with two more harpoons. One. Two. And you know what? One. Two. That way. All right. Perfect. Our missiles are closing in. Let's see if we get a hit. Bam. Bow on. Love it. And it looks like we have another harpoon, which just flew over the top. It got intercepted. This one's closing in on Master 2. Okay, and the Kreshta is gone. There we go. We have two more harpoons. Come on. You can do it. It looks like Chaff may interfere, though. Let's see. Intercepted. Missed. Oh, and one's down. Let's see, second harpoon, are you going to do it? Sea Wiz engaged. Missile was taken out, unfortunately. This Udaloy is what's causing issues and continuing to engage. Let's, uh, let's see, we have seven more. We should just saturate the area, I suppose. I'm gonna shoot one towards this Udaloy. And you know what? We will not use pop-up mode this time. All right, one heading towards the Udaloy. And a 
Let's just saturate this area. Just send a couple on pop up. And you know what? One more for good measure towards the Udaloy. All right, that's all of our harpoons. We'll have to utilize our 16 inch guns for the rest. Let's engage you with those. Here we go. She's launching missiles to try to intercept our harpoons. Hopefully she is not successful in that endeavor. Just launched another one. This guy is heading towards our harpoons. Is it gonna get it? No, it doesn't look like it did. Oh, it did actually get a harpoon. How unfortunate. This harpoon looks pretty good. Is it gonna get the Kreshta? I think so. Impact. One. Two coming in. Two hits. Destroyed. This one's going for Master 2. That's a primary target for sure. Come on, please get her. She's dropping chaff. This thing has been very difficult. Chaff is thrown off our harpoons every time. And there we go. Threw that one off. Is the Udaloy... No. Defeated another one. All right. Well, we got one more down. We're pretty much out of anti-ship missiles. We are engaging the Udaloy now. And she's not moving too quickly. I can only assume she's relatively damaged. Our 16-inch guns will have to finish the job before they all run away. The Udaloy is now on fire, and she is not looking very good at all. And that was another hit right in the stern compartment. And yeah, that is another fire breaking out on her. I think we'll fire maybe a couple more salvos her way before transitioning to Master 2. The Udaloy has now gotten into gun range and she is firing rapidly upon us. We have switched back to firing at her with her uh, with our 16 inch guns. Hopefully we can get another hit. I'm honestly surprised she is able to engage. The ship is on fire from stem to stern, but they are obviously not happy with us and are going to fight to the bitter end. So be it. Uh, let's reduce speed to 15 knots. Maybe we can get some better hits here because we're getting near misses that actually looked like a pretty good hit right there There we go, finally got her and sent that Udaloy right down to the bottom. Now we only have one ship left, but she is sailing away. Well, you might as well just try to engage and see if we can get any hits. Let's change course ever so slightly so we can close this gap because she is pretty far away. 31,000 yards out to be exact. So uh, we'll see if we can get any consistent hits here, but that is pretty much the majority of this task force going down. And man, this Udaloy put up one hell of a fight. We just landed a pretty good hit here and it just started a fire near turret number three. We are continuing to engage and so is she. She is now kind of broadside with us engaging with all four turrets here. They aren't doing much, although we have been hit a few more times. Our hull is down to 85, but overall we are in immaculate condition consider considering what we have destroyed thus far. Kind of wish we had more harpoons or something. We could definitely finish this up sooner, but uh, our guns are doing the job. They are getting the job done. We are down to 662 rounds. And it looks like uh, she is taking on water in the bow. She, her bow looks a little heavy here. I don't know if I'm just imagining that, but we have a pretty good hit right here, just uh, to the right of the turret number two. And with that, we are victorious. With no missiles left, we are down to 563 rounds of ammunition. 
and our hull is at 83%. So we definitely took a beating. If we look down here, we can see all of the hits we took. But this has been an extremely successful mission for us. Anyway, folks, that is all for today's episode. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment. Let me know what you would like to see next in Cold Water's Surface Combat with DotMod. Anyway, thank you all for watching. This is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.